Hi, and welcome back to Market Conversations. Today is February 23rd, and I just want to talk a little bit about Luquan Technology and what my price target is, as well as my trades on Luquan Technology. So if you guys are interested in watching, go ahead and stick around. But before I continue, I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Also, I started a Patreon page where like-minded people can get together and talk about stocks, whether that is penny stocks, growth stocks, dividend stocks, cryptocurrency, and options, and just share ideas on how we can grow our portfolios. I will also be sharing my trades as well. So if you guys are interested, I will go ahead and post my link down below. And it's only 33 cents a day. Luquan Technology is down to 192. If we take a look at the one week charts, it's down 14%. One month, it's up 186%. Three months, it's up 344%. One year, it is up 91%. And it's down because the overall market is down. And this creates good opportunities for people to either buy in or average down if you guys got in at the top. When there is a pullback like this, it's always a good opportunity to buy the pullback. There will be panic sellers and then people who are optimistic that the market will recover. And usually when it recovers, the stocks tend to go much higher. So Luquan Technology announces the closing of 100 million registered direct offering priced at the markets. The gross proceeds to Luquan from this offering are approximately $100 million. The warrants have an exercise price of $2.38 per share and expired three years from the date of issuance. The company intends to use the net proceeds from this offering for working capital and general corporate purposes. So they've been raising capital since the beginning of February. They announced the $5 million direct offering at a price of just $0.52 cents per share on February 10th. In the day after, on the 11th of February, they announced a 15 million registered direct offering at a price of just 88 cents per share. The difference between a direct offering and a public offering is that the public offering means that the shares has been issued to retail investors, while direct offering has been issued to institutional investors. So institutionals are willing to buy the shares of Luquan because they believe they can profit from the company mid or long term. And the companies need to raise the capital for the proceeds to help them advance their company. This is good for long term investors, not so much for short term because offering does dilute the shares. So if you already don't know, there is a possible blacklisting of Luquan. In November last year, Trump has signed an executive order that prohibited Americans from investing in the blacklisted firms. Owners of shares of these companies must get rid of them by November 11, 2021. This is a part from Shimi Corporation. The additional firms blacklisted include Advanced Micro Fabrication, Luquan Technology, Beijing Development Investment, Guo Wen Semiconductor Corporation, Grand China Air Company, Global Tone Communication Technology, China National Aviation Holding, and Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China. Long way from November. If the company does get it listed, if the company does get delisted, it doesn't affect the ownership of the share. They will still own the share, but the company will most likely hold a significantly less value after the delisting. This is a risk of holding this stock right now, but you can always sell your shares beforehand. But I do believe that Biden will overturn this ban on Chinese stocks because banning Chinese stocks will hurt the American people. It would also hurt the relationship between America and China. If Biden is able to overturn this ban, this stock can easily go up to $5, possibly more, now that many people wouldn't be hesitant to get in because of the blacklist. And also keep in mind that institutions are still holding on to the stock and they probably know that Luquan technology will be removed from the blacklist. Otherwise, they could have sold it already. 
I can see the stock going to $10 or more by the end of this year if Biden is able to overturn the ban. With the technology that Lu Quan has, this company can possibly reach $20 or more. Now would be a good time to either average down or start a small position if you are confident this company will be successful. I just want to talk about another stock that I've talked about in the past, and that is Sundial, my favorite stock. So Sundial Gores is at 125. Again, it's down because of the overall market. And let's just take a look at the one week. It is down 35%. One month, it's down 96%. Three months, it's up 259%. So a couple of things with Sundial. The first one is they announced issuance of new warrants and that they were able to raise $89.1 million from the warrant exercises. They can now use the cash to expand their company and create new products. The second one is that they took a $22 million stake in Diva, which is a Canadian producer of marijuana edibles. This is good because they are expanding and using the money that was raised. The third good news is that Sundial regained compliance with NASDAQ. Their stock traded over $1 a share for 10 consecutive days. And lastly, yesterday, Governor Phil Murphy signed laws to legalize marijuana use and decriminalize possession. I can see the stock going to at least $5 easily if the Biden administration decriminalizes marijuana. I do have a position in Sundial Gores. And I've been adding on on these dips as well. I did get in when it was just 40 cents. I did sell it at $2 and now I'm back in again. So before buying any type of securities, please conduct your own due diligence and never be afraid of these pullbacks. These are great opportunity buys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you're holding on to any of these stocks or what you think about them. And also do consider joining the Patreon page. I do share my updates in the Market Gold Investor tier. And I am just trying to find people where we can talk about stocks, cryptocurrency, and options, and just growing as a community and growing our accounts together. Trading, investing can be lonely, and you just want to be able to do it with a community. So do consider joining the Patreon page. Thanks so much. Hi there. If you are interested in helping out the channel, you can sign up for Weeble if you haven't already. They are currently offering two free stocks now. It used to be four, so you don't want to wait until it gets to one free stock or no stocks at all. So you get one free stock when you open up a Weeble account. And when you deposit $100 or more, you get one more free stock which is valued between $8 and $1,600. And if you are transferring from another brokerage, they will reimburse you the fees up to $100. And you will also receive a complimentary three-month subscription to Level 2 Events NASDAQ Total View from the day you sign up. So guys, what are you waiting for? Two free stocks are waiting for you. Thanks again.